So before you start loading code into the ESP8266 or the Node MCU, you need to be sure that you go to File, References, and you have this uh, link pasted here. And I'll, I'll leave it down in the description. The next thing that you need is to make sure that you have all of the libraries. So the way you do that is you go to Sketch, Include Libraries, and then uh, manage libraries and just search up um, ESP8266 Wi-Fi, or you can just go on GitHub on on Google and download it from GitHub. But uh, this this way is the fastest and most secure. You don't have to deal with anything uh, like adding it to your directory or anything like that. This would do all of that for you. All right. So once that's done, you can actually uh, compile this code and so the first line here the second line is the wi-fi password now i have it blank because i don't want to have to put in a password every time i connect to the hotspot but this will be your uh hotspot wi-fi password and the hotspot uh uh wi-fi name right for all intents and purposes this is called an access point so this access point right now, I have it named Jandro with no uh, password. Um, this is just more, more code setup. Here, the setup in the Arduino environment is I'm setting the, the serial uh, port in order to, to be able to see any of the serial comments for debugging. And here, uh, this is the red LED that you saw at the beginning. Uh, you set it up as an output. And that red LED that's on board for the node MCU is active low. So when you write low, you're actually turning on the LED. And then when you write high, uh, you're turning it off. So this little sequence here just lets me know, hey, you, you did it correctly. So it turns it on, waits 400 milliseconds, and then it turns it off. And here, this is how you set up the access point with that name and password. Now, where the app comes in is every time the app uh, logs into that uh, IP address, right, which is a default IP address for these Node MCUs. It's going to send that word LED on. The Node MCU reads LED on. It'll go through this little sequence here and it'll turn on the LED. And then if it gets LED off, it'll go through this sequence here and it'll turn it off. And this is what you'll see on the screen LED off, LED on. <laughs>